Hello everybody, welcome back. It is so good to have you here. I hope you had a fantastic week. And this week's book is She Sells Seashells, a tongue twister story by Grace Kim. And let me tell you, I am not very good at these, so um, I apologize in advance if I mess up quite a lot. So let's see what happens. Okay. This is Silly Sally. She sells seashells by the seashore. Alright, we're starting out okay. Alright. Then she picks a pretty place to picnic. Peter Piper is there. Oh, of course he is. Peter Piper picks a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picks. If Peter Piper picks a peck of pickled peppers, which peck of pickled peppers does Peter Piper pick? Peter Piper picks a perfect peck. The pair share their lunch, pickled peppers, and great green grapes. Have a weird lunch, if you ask me. Peter Piper and Silly Sally go for a walk. They see some strange sights. Five fat frogs flying fast. Six sick sheep. A big black bear. Then they see a woodchuck. Oh no, I know what's coming here. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, wonders Peter Piper. We shall surely see soon, says <laughs> Silly Sally. We shall surely see soon. Let's visit the valley and see Betty Botter. Oh no, Peter says. So off they go. Betty Botter is baking a cake. Betty Botter bought a bit of butter to put into her batter, but the bit of butter made the batter bitter. So Betty bought a bit of better butter to put in the batter, and the bit of better butter made her batter better. Betty offers something to go with her cake. A proper cup of coffee from a copper coffee pot. A loud noise comes from outside. More sheep! Silly Sally scolds seven silly sheep. The seven silly sheep, Silly Sally self. Now they're just messing with me. Peter Piper takes the path to the pasture. Betty Botter says bye-bye. Then Silly Sally goes back to the shore to sell more shells. The end. Oh my, that was, that was pretty difficult. But I had a good time. Um, I would love to know any more tongue twisters that you guys have. I'd love to try them out for you. They uh, can get a little difficult, but we'll see what happens. Um, as always, um, I hope you have a fantastic week. You are loved. You are missed here. And we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.